killed. In an attempt to save the ship, Kirk is sucked into space, lost, presumed dead. Flash forward 78 years to the next generation crew led by the valiant Picard. They too encounter this strange energy field and identify it as the Nexus, a hitherto unexplored phenomena. Unexplored, that is, except by mad scientist Soran Malcolm McDowell. He's discovered the Nexus is a cosmic timeshare containing everyone's wildest dreams, and he'll stop at nothing to enter it. If the Enterprise hadn't intervened, they would have found it. They didn't find it. And now we have a weapon of unlimited power. No, Lursa. I have the weapon. And if you ever want me to give it to you, I would advise you to be a little more careful in the future. Perhaps we are tired of waiting. <laughs> Without my research, the Trilithium is worthless. As are your plans to reconquer the Klingon Empire. Picard ventures into the Nexus to try and stop Soran and is plunged into his perfect world, a recreation of happy families on Earth. Resisting the temptation to stay, he ventures further and bumps into, you guessed it, Admiral James T. Kirk. Together they team up to try and foil the plans of the evil Soran. Come back with me. Help me stop Soran. Make a difference again. Who am I to argue with the captain of the Enterprise? What's the name of that planet? Viridian Three. Yes. I take it the odds are against us, and the situation is grim. You could say that. You know, if Spock were here, he'd say that I was an irrational, illogical human being for taking on a mission like that. Sounds like fun. This is typical Star Trek, but I'm afraid even fans will be a touch disappointed. This supposed swan song for the original crew is sadly lacking in most of the original crew, actually, and looks for all the world like two episodes of Next Generation simply bolted together with a guest appearance by William Shatner. I'm no great Star Trek fan, but I would have loved to have seen the old Enterprise crew go out in a blaze of glory. Instead, it's a whimper, not a bang. Open sesame! <laughs> You could say, I have a magnetic personality. <laughs> More celestial bodies.